Have you been feeling strange and uncomfortable? Physical sensations recently that just make no sense. Maybe an unexplained change in your weight or vivid dreams or an unexplainable sensitivity to light and sound. These changes can often be scary, but if you're going through them, don't worry, you're not alone. And these signs are not something to be scared of. In fact, they could be a sign that you are going through a spiritual awakening which can help you unlock a higher state of unconsciousness and fost, or a deeper connection with the divine. But if you don't know what they signify, these physical changes can be worrying. So to make it a smoother journey, let us explore the physical signs of spiritual awakening and how you can embrace this profound journey of transformation. So keep watching. Before we talk about the physical signs of spiritual awakening and how to embrace them, it is important that you understand what exactly your spiritual awakening is and why it holds such profound significance in the spiritual realm. Spiritual awakening is also K.N., own as enlightenment or self-realization, and it is a point in an individual's life when they become more aware of their true nature and how they're interconnected to all of the universe and the life in it. This process involves a profound shift in our consciousness as we leave behind our normal egoistic mindset and start to perceive our life and our existence from a higher perspective. This journey of spiritual awakening can be difficult at the moment, but it is highly beneficial as it leads to a profound sense of inner peace and a deeper understanding of the nature of reality as it makes us recognize the unity within all of existence in the universe. At this point, you might be wondering if it is a spiritual and mental shift. Why does it cause changes in your physical self? And that's because your body, your mind, and your spirit are all interconnected with each other, which means changes in one aspect can significantly influence the others as well. In the words of Dr. Anil Kumar Sinha, the body is the vehicle, the mind is the driver, and the soul is the passenger. When the soul awakens, it guides the mind and transforms the body indeed. The awakening of your soul is not only for the soul but it leaves an effect on all aspects of your existence. And that is why the primary shift in consciousness during spiritual awakening often manifests physically as your soul awakens and guides your mind. Your physical body also undergoes significant transformations to align you with a higher state of being. These physical changes can be subtle sensations, but they can also be significant physical symptoms that affect your daily life. So now let us explore in detail these changes in our physique, a body that occur during our journey of spiritual awakening. The first and one of the most common physical signs of spiritual awakening is an increased sensitivity to energy that is because as your vibrational frequency is elevated during spiritual awakening, you often start to become more attuned to the energies around you as you attune yourself to these energies, they start to leave an impact on you that they didn't before. This increased sensitivity to energy can manifest in various ways, one of which are tingling. Sensations, in fact, many people ate ya. Ave reported feeling tingling or vibrating sensations in different parts of their body during their spiritual awakening, most commonly in their hands, feet, or head. These sensations can be confusing at first, especially because you can't really explain in them by science, but these tingling sensations are not something to be worried about, because they often result from the fact that your body's energy centers or your chakras are becoming more active in the words of Shakti, gain the energy that rises from within as you awaken, spiritually can manifest in phys. Cycle changes that might seem or even uncomfortable, these are signs of your transformation indeed. These tingling sensations can often be uncomfortable, but the benefits they carry are far more significant than the momentary feelings of discomfort. Another way this increased sensitivity to energy manifests is by a sensitivity to lights or sounds. Many individuals are normally a bit sensitive to bright lights and loud noises, but if this sensitivity is increasing, Suddenly, this is a sign that the individual is going into a heightened sense of awareness, which is MEA, making them more sensitive to the subtle. 
energies in their environment. So if you start to feel more sensitive to lights or sounds, all of a sudden don't worry about it, as it could be a sign that you're unlocking newer states of consciousness, as our sensitivity towards energy changes during our journey of spiritual awakening. It often ends up causing changes in our appetite and diet as well. That is because as our body adjusts to higher VI vibrational frequencies, we start to crave foods that are higher in vibrations as well. These foods, ink, lewd healthier and lighter foods and during our spiritual journey, we often start to crave these healthier foods and develop an aversion to heavy and processed foods as our soul awakens spiritually, it leaves an impact on every aspect of our being, and our diet changing for the better is also a way for our body to maintain high vibrations. The journey of spiritual awakening requires a complete detoxification of yourself that helps to release any old and unproductive energies or toxins and make way for productive and positive energies. It's not just so to your soul that needs detoxification, but your body needs to detoxify too. And this process can often lead to various physical symptoms that are usually uncomfortable. One of the most, most commonly reported signs of this physical detoxification are headaches or migraines. In fact, headaches are highly common during spiritual awakening, and they occur when your body is releasing any stored energy and toxins. Also, the seventh chakra, or the crown chakra, is located at the top of your head. And when your body goes through major energetic changes, this chakra is deeply impacted, which can often manifest as a headache or migraine in your physical life, moreover. Other than release of toxins, these headaches can also be due to the fact that during your spiritual awakening, your pineal gland or your third eye is awakened. This third eye is a gateway to your intuitive wisdom. And during your spiritual awakening, you tend to become more connected to your intuitive wisdom, so it can guide you further in your spiritual and personal journey. This awakening of your third eye can be highly beneficial, but in the moment, it can be you, and comfortable as it can often physically manifest as a headache or a migraine. Other than headaches, this physical detoxification process can also be accompanied with physical symptoms that feel like you have the flu. These symptoms could include fatigue, body aches, or congestion in your body. These symptoms might make you feel worried as flu medicines don't help, but don't worry, because these symptoms are actually a part of your body's natural detoxification process, and it can indicate that your body is clearing out any old negative energies that are stow. Read within it, this process of physical detoxification can also lead to issues in your digestive system and cause changes in your digestion. The most common manifestations of these digestive issues are often bloating gas or stomach discomfort. These changes in your overall digestive system occur because your digestive system is closely interlined to the solar plexus chakra or the navel chakra, which is responsible for your personal power and transformation. As your soul awakens, this chakra also goes through major energy changes, which end up manifesting in why. Our physical body as digestive issues all these symptoms of physical detoxification, may it be headaches or flu. Like symptoms or digestive issues can often be pretty uncomfortable or strange, but in the words of Eckhart Toller, the physical discomforts you feel are a sign that you are shedding the old skin making room for the new, more awakened self. Indeed, the significance of these physical discomforts in your spiritual awakening journey is far greater than a moment of discomfort. You feel another common sign that individuals go through in their spy. Ritual awakening phase is minor or major changes in their sleeping patterns as your body is going through profound energetic changes. It might need less or more rest, which leads to changes in your sleep patterns that often don't make sense for some individuals. These changes in their sleeping pattern manifests as a sense of insomnia or, or a restless sleep. These individuals may go through a sense of difficulty when trying to fall asleep or even staying asleep. Do you ever feel tired and your eyes are hurting and you know you need to sleep? But no matter how, Hard you try, you can't sleep, and even if you do manage to sleep, you keep waking up. If you can relate, this might be a sign that you're going through an awakening phase in the words of the poet Tachnut Han. 
If we cannot sleep, it means we are not yet awake. Indeed, the inability to fall asleep symbolizes that your soul is getting awakened. And the reason for this restlessness is often because your body and your mind are getting adjusted to new energies and processing new spiritual insights. This process makes your mind stay active even when you're constantly trying to shut it down and sleep other than restlessness. These changes in your sleep patterns and your spiritual awakening phase might often manifest as vivid dreams as well. When you're going through your spiritual awakening phase, you're in a receptive state and you get to explore many new energies and spiritual insights in this highly receptive state. Your dreams often become a source of guidance too. Your dreams become more vivid and meaningful and they often contain messages and guidance from your intuitive wisdom or your subconscious mind. D, these dreams can be confusing at first, but in your spiritual journey, it is crucial that you interpret and embrace the guidance in these dreams, as they can provide valuable insights that can become a significant source of guidance in your spiritual and personal journey. Moreover, as your body becomes attuned to new energies, it often starts to require an increased amount of rest and sleep than normal in the words of the spiritual leader, SRI Ravi Shanka. Sleep is a way to stay sane, to be rejuvenated, and to replenish your mind, body, and spirit indeed as your mind and your soul are getting used to newer sources of energies. Your body is actually working overtime and sometimes it needs rest so it can nourish itself and keep up with your spiritual awakening. In these times, it is essential that you honor your body's needs and get an adequate amount of rest so you can go through the transformative period of your life in your spiritual awakening phase. These sudden and unexplainable changes in your sleeping pattern can be quite confusing, but it is important that you honor the needs of your body your soul, and your mind and fully embrace your spiritual awakening. And the physical changes it brings last but not the least, one of the most common and uncomfortable physical changes that occur during your spiritual awakening phase are physical discomfort and pains. These can often be confusing and difficult to get through. But in these difficult moments than ever, it is important to embrace the fact that the benefits these uncomfortable sensations hold are way too profound, and this discomfort is only temporary. Because indeed, in the words of the author Ezra Spiri, tool awakening does not happen without profound physical, emotional, and mental change. These physical discomforts often manifest as an unexplained ache or pain in different parts of the body. These pains are often linked to the chakras or the energy centers of your body as you go through major energy changes. Your body is releasing your stored emotional energy and activating other energy centers to make space for more productive and positive energies to flow within you. This release of old energies and inflow of new energies often manifest physically as a feeling of pain or discomfort, and these often occur in the Areas of your body where the seven chakras are located. Many individuals report feeling a pressure or a feeling of tightness in their head and chest area during their spiritual awakening phase. This unexplainable feeling of pressure or tightness can be quite uncomfortable and even become a hurdle in your daily life activities. But it is important to remember that it is probably a sign of you taking a huge leap in your spiritual awakening journey. This pressure is usually linked with the fact that Yo, or crown chakra, which is located in your head and your heart, chakra, which is located in your chest, are getting activated to make space for newer energies. The activation of these two chakras is crucial in your spiritual awakening, and this often leads to uncomfortable physical symptoms in your body. Another strange yet significant physical symptom of your spiritual awakening is a twitch or spasm in your muscles. The root of these muscle twitches or spasms is often the fact that your body's energy channels are opening and clearing their old energies and importa. Inti aspect of your spiritual awakening phase is the fact that the positive energies within you start to flow more freely and the negative energies start to get released freely. This free flow of energy awakens your soul and your intuitive wisdom to guide you in towards your true purpose and higher potential. So even though these twitches often feel strange, especially when you don't understand the source of them, 
These movements of your muscles often signify that the energy within you is flowing more freely now. Even though these physical feelings or pains can be difficult to go through and they do bring a lot of temporary discomfort, that does not mean it's impossible to embrace them and get through them. In fact, you just need to know how you can navigate these physical changes in a way that you embrace your spiritual awakening and don't let the temporary moment of discomfort dull down your energy. So let us explore how you can navigate these physical changes and make your spiritual awakening phase smoother and easier for yourself, in the words of the Indian author B.K.S. I hear the body is your temple key. Be it pure and clean for the soul to reside in, indeed, taking care of your body and nourishing it properly is an important aspect of your existence. And it's even more crucial during your spiritual awakening phase, you can make use of various different self-care practices that can help you support the physical changes of your spiritual awakening. Ing, and the most important one, is making sure your body is hydrated when you drink plenty of water. You support your body and your soul's detoxification process. This helps you maintain the energy flow within you and M. Make the detoxification journey less uncomfortable too. Ensure you are giving your body the perfect hydration. Make sure you're drinking at least 8 glasses of water or 15 lbs of water per day, other than being high hydrated. Having a balanced diet is also crucial in your spiritual awakening journey, in the words of the wise poet Rumi. The food you eat can either be the safest and more powerful form of medicine or the slowest form of poison. Indeed, your diet has the potential to either foster a smooth flow of energy within you or become a significant disrue. Patient for your energy flow. That's why it's crucial that you... Maintain a healthy and balanced diet to maintain a balanced diet. It is important to eat a diet rich in whole organic and nutrient-dense foods. As you go through your spiritual awakening phase, your body starts to crave healthy foods on its own. It's crucial that you pay attention to these cravings of your body and listen to what it needs. Also engaging in gentle physical activities and exercise can really help you maintain the free energy flow within your body and your soul. These could include gentle e-workout yoga or different energy healing practices like Tai Chi. Whichever way you utilize practicing gentle physical movements on a regular basis can really help you support your energy flow and maintain a good physical, mental, and emotional health. But with physical movements and exercise, it is also crucial that you ensure your body gets an adequate amount of rest, relaxation, and sleep. Your body goes through a lot of work during your spiritual awakening, and even it gets tired. It needs rest, so it can recover and keep integrating newer energies to E. Ensure your body gets its recovery. It is important that you listen to your body's signals and provide it the rest and the relaxation it needs. Mindfulness and meditation can also be two powerful tools that can help you navigate the physical and mental changes of your spiritual awakening in a smoother and easier manner. These practices help you connect with your inner self and increase the awareness of your spiritual journey, thus reducing the stress and discomfort that comes with the momentary symptoms. Meditation in particular involves quieting down your mice and and sit sitting in a quiet place where you can focus on your breath and your inner self. When you practice meditation regularly, you can connect deeply with your spiritual inner self, which helps you calm down your mind even when your spiritual journey brings you moments of discomfort and physical pains. Other than reducing your discomfort, meditation can also help you enhance your intuition and connect with your higher self, which helps you integrate spiritual insights and guidance in your daily life, thus providing a profound sense of support in your spiritual awakening journey. On the other hand, mindfulness or mindful breathing techniques involves being present in every moment and openly embracing each and every moment that life throws in your way. When you increase your awareness of the present moment, you also increase your sense of awareness about your own emotions and thoughts in the present moment. This helps you connect deeply with yourself and actively balance your energy and reduce the adverse effects of negative energies. Navigating your spiritual awakening phase can be challenging, and sometimes, even if you practice connecting with your inner self, it 
still gives you difficulties and discomforts along the way. In these moments, it can be extremely beneficial to see, seek support from other individuals. One of the best ways to seek support is by joining spiritual communities. When you join spiritual communities or groups, you might get to meet people that share the same thoughts and beliefs as you. And these like-minded individuals might themselves be going through their spiritual awakening or have gone through. In the past, you can share your experience, see as with these individuals and receive support from them. Through their own experiences or through different advice other than spiritual communities, it can also be useful to seek support from counselors or energy healers. Seeking guidance from therapists or counselors in particular can be really helpful as they are often familiar with the process of spiritual awakening and have probably had similar patients. They can not only provide you emotional support, but also guidance that helps you in your energy. On the other hand, working with energy healers like R, Aiki practitioners or acupuncturists can also be very helpful. These individuals can help you address any energetic imbalances or blockages within you. Not only that, but through different energy healing practices, they can also help maintain a smooth flow of energy within you, thus reducing the physical discomfort that comes with energetic changes during your spiritual awakening phase. In conclusion, spiritual awakening is a profound and highly transformative journey, and it can completely turn your life around, but it often manifests in your physical body. As strange physical changes, these physical changes like increased sensitivity to energy, physical detoxification, changes in sleep pattern, and physical discomforts and pain can be difficult to get through in the moment, but they indicate that your body is aligned to your soul and your physical body is acting as a vessel to help you maintain a positive flow of energy within your soul. By understanding and embracing these physical symptoms, you can navigate your spiritual awakening phase with a greater sense of ease. It is also important that you take care of F your body practice meditation and mind mindfulness and seek support to further make this journey easier for yourself. As you go through this spiritual awakening journey, you meet different hurdles, but remember, you have to get through them to unlock your true nature and the divine essence that resides within you. May we all find ease in our journeys of awakening.